Today on the G project, we are going to mount the engine, transmission, and transfer case for the final time. We're gonna deal with the shifter and the transfer case shifter. And yeah, hopefully we get to knock a ton of stuff off the list. Let's get into it. What's up? We're doing the uh, NP231 slip yoke eliminator install. Fuck. I got it. being crushed. Ow. This is heavy. Ow. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We are going to be using the Universal AX15 transmission mount from Novak Conversions. And this is an awesome piece right here to get the engine and the drivetrain to the proper degree. The general rule of thumb is three to five degrees tilted downwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the level on my phone to get that close to do in the three to five range. So this is the angle the engine needs to sit at and the mount is loosely mocked up to the transmission. You can see the gap there. That means I'm gonna need to use the standoff posts with the longer bolts that came with the mount kit and mark the holes right here on the cross member to drill the mounting location. All right, pulled the pan out. You can see the marks to drill here and here, and we're also gonna have to drill through the bottom so the bolts can go through both layers. Got some cutting oil here, and, and now we get to play the game of how many drill bits am I gonna go through to get through this hunk of metal.
So we have the transfer case mounted, the cross member mounted, and our transmission mount is loosely fitted in place right above the holes we drilled. I'm just gonna need to jack up the whole drivetrain just a little bit. Also, you can see I cut a little access hole so we can get to the bolts from the bottom. This is a multi-layer piece right here and it's gonna mount to the top one. So I just widened that existing square to get to the bolt holes. You can see on the left and on the right. Now I'm just gonna jack up the drivetrain, probably from the oil pan, um, because the cross member is blocking every other point, just a little bit. And then we can slide in the rubber transmission mounts, top and bottom, and bolt this sucker together. And just like that, the drivetrain is mounted up for a final time. Looking good. Today we're going to be installing this contraption on the V8 swap Jeep. This right here is the Universal NP231 shifter kit. These sleek machine parts are going to be replacing this, which is the factory 231 shifter from the YJ. The new shifter kit is also fully adjustable, whereas the old one is not and it's very heavy. Fixes a ton of the issues that this thing creates and uh, easy to install. So let's get into it. So we're gonna be replacing the shifter arm here with the one that was provided in the kit. Here's that new piece installed with the three adjustable holes on the top for throw settings. Then we're just going to mount the linkage to the transfer case bolts you can see on the left side. We have our shifter rod installed on the transfer case side. The throw adjusted. Linkage mounted up just fine. You can also see we have our clutch cylinder installed and the clutch pedal is working correctly as well. And the last thing we have to do is mount the shifter cane, which comes as a solid steel rod. You have to heat that sucker up with a blowtorch and bend it. I used a crappy vise and it worked out just fine. The list of things to do on the Jeep project is shrinking quickly. Um, now, pretty much all we have to do is lift kit, axle swap, measure for drive shafts, and kind of put it back together. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of small steps in those large steps, but it's coming together. And for suspension, we have brand new ball joints, tie rod ends. We have the cure for this thing right here. And? new set of shackles on all four corners. We got our catalytic converter for the Jeep. Our beautiful swap radiator. And then for our exhaust, we have everything we need to make the exhaust. To modify this quite a bit. And this box has 2.5 inch exhaust combo kit build the exhaust. Yeah, hopefully this thing should be up and running, four wheel drive, functional um, before it snows. It's October now, so we only have probably about a month before it really starts snowing and getting pretty cold. I've also been doing a ton of work on my new daily, which is a 1990 CRX. So go check out those videos too. We're filming a ton of stuff, tons of aftermarket parts. It's a pretty sick car. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and comment if you have anything to say. So, uh, appreciate it. Peace.